Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm from Paddleboat Theatre Company. In our story, I pretend to be Arthur, and today I'm going to teach you some mime skills so you can pretend to be Arthur as well. We're not going to draw Arthur like in the storybook. Instead, we're going to use our facial expressions and our body to create Arthur. For this activity, you can work with someone or by yourself. If you're working with someone, it's your responsibility to change them into Arthur. How? Think about their face, maybe happy. Maybe sad. Think about posture. Does she look old? Is it Arthur holding something? Maybe a walking stick or glasses? Now, ask them to have a walk around. This is my Arthur. If you're by yourself, imagine you have a squishy wall. Try pushing your finger into the wall. You leave an outline. Now, try pushing your nose into the wall. Don't fall over. How? Does your body look now? Different? Maybe like an old person. Try having a walk. Arthur is very curious and interested in everything he sees. You have a play. Now we know what Arthur looks like, what does he do? Copy me. We'll start asleep. stand up, but slowly. Why? Because Arthur is old and it's difficult. Ready? <laughs> now, where are his glasses? Arthur can't see. Use your facial expressions to show the difference. Glasses? <sighs> no glasses. Today, Arthur feels cold. <sighs> you try. Finally, Arthur needs to do some stretches. Ready?
Now we've made Arthur, we're going to practice some mime skills. Miming is when you pretend you're holding something that the audience can't see. For example, can you guess what this is? That's right, it's a violin. You try. Now, let's practice. Imagine you're holding a jar of sweets. Eat one and show how it tastes. Maybe it's sour. Maybe it's amazing. Mm. Or maybe it's disgusting. Ready? Uh, now, put your jar down. In mind, if you want an audience to believe you're acting, it's important that the object stays the same. So, if I'm holding a ball and I throw it, it's not allowed to change, or the audience will get confused. So, here is a tennis ball. I'm going to throw it to you, and you've got to catch it. It's not allowed to change. Ready? Oh! You got it? Okay, throw it back. Oh, oh. Now, a bowling ball. It's a bit heavier. Ready? <laughs> Finally. <gasps> this one's a bit slower. Ready? Ooh. Catch! Well done! Now, I'm going to pick up a really heavy weight. <sighs> Are you feeling strong? <sighs> now, it's your turn. Are you feeling strong? Ready? <laughs> Finally, eye focus. It tells the audience where to look and how you feel about an object. This is Arthur's very expensive glass vase. He has to focus on it so he doesn't drop it. Can I trust you to hold the vase. Okay, okay. Well done. Now you have mime skills. Weight, size, eye focus. But do you remember? where my jar of sweets is. Yes! Now, look at this. I want you to create a really detailed mime routine of Arthur's day. Remember how Arthur moves, his facial expressions, his posture, and mining objects. Where is it? Is it big, heavy, and eye focus? I'd love to see your videos of Arthur and all your mind skills. You can email me. The address is below. Thanks for watching. Bye!